Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. There we go, right, and then go for another swim under the water like that. And then somewhere over here, I reckon, is home. Um, is it just the other side of the bit of mountain there? You can't be very far away. We're on minus 100 blocks here. Minus six, minus three. I'm actually inside our spawn chunks now. All of this down here, this this is in our spawn chunks. This this is home. We, we are actually home. We're, we're within the spawn chunks. We just got to kind of like find it. I think we just got to get up over this bit right here. And then that's, that's all we need to do. We want to jump up here. All right, we've got a brown sheep right there. Where do I need to go? Uh, oh, there's a fox. I wonder what that noise was. It's a fox. Uh, there's the jungle. So it's in that direction that we need to head. It's around here somewhere. Home I'm, I'm definitely really close to home. I just don't, I just don't, don't know where it is. It's, it's impossible to see. Seriously? Right, I'm on positive 69, positive 28. I know about 200 blocks away. Oh, no, wait. It's, it's positive 200 for X. And then Z is zero, isn't it? So I'm actually 70 blocks too far to my right. And I want to go this way by another 150 blocks for the X block. It's not an X box. It's an X block. And we go here and here, like this, on up a little bit further, so the other side of this hill, it's got to be. There's, ooh, there's parrot over there. There we have got some of our own handiwork just there on that pillar. That is definitely our base. We made that pillar. There it is. There it is. There's the mountain, all the way up over there. So, this coming in this direction, it is... There's quite a lot to do to get into the, in that direction if we want to be able to like actually get to the desert. And we don't want to do that. So the direction that we went the first time, that I think is the way to go. We do know that there's horses 500 blocks that way. That's, that is a useful thing to know, right? It is a useful thing to know and it's, it, it's, it's generally just going to be useful. We have got in amongst all of the jungle right here. There is some bamboo just over the other side. So we're going to do something with that. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get this glass into our base. And we're going to start smelting some of it. Uh, glass, get this sand into the base so that we can start smelting some of it. Now, looking down here, a lot of the sugar cane has already grown. Plants, when you're not in your spawn chunks, I think plants do something different, and I'm pretty sure animals do something different as well. Although we have had them, like, they have been doing stuff. They have been doing stuff while we haven't been in the spawn chunks. We've got five bits of chicken there to prove it. Uh, but our counter should have been counting. So I'm going to have a look on here and see if I can remember where the day thing is. Chunk facing west, client server light, uh, sounds, where's, where's the, the, the day, uh, I, I, I know where it is, biome, mountains, difficulty, day 119, in here, that is 119, right there, look, you see right here, if you split that, there, uh, we make that into 36, that makes 100, 119. So our counter has been working. The spawn chunks. We were 2,000 blocks away and that one's still been working. We're on day 119. Here be diamonds. We've got 33 diamonds in there that we can use, which is actually going to be enough to make ourselves a set of iron armor, which is very cool. I like that. I really like that idea. Let's just have a bite to eat. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to close that door. We're going to go here. So there's a bit of sand that can go into that furnace. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get rid of that leather for a minute. I'm also going to place down the carrot, the beetroot seed, the cacti. 
Uh, the acacia, I'll keep hold of. The sunflower, the empty maps. Actually, I'm going to have those. I'm going to put them somewhere else. We're going to go over here to the more valuables chest. I'm going to put the empty map. A saddle, so I could go and get a horse if I wanted to. And I have a look in here, and I will dump in the iron in there. Right. And then I can go back out here like this. Oh, no, not back out here just yet. Uh, I want to go in here. I've got a block of coal there from stuff that we were doing. I don't have any more coal at the moment. Which I could really do with. To be honest, I could really do with some more coal. But anyway, I've got coal there, so I've, I've got plenty of it. So I'm going to dump coal in underneath here. I'm going to just have a look in there, and I'm going to dump that in there. So I've already got some coming in here and working. If I go over this side, I don't think I can use... No, I can't use the blast furnace for this. So I'm not going to use that one. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take one, two, three, four, five, I think. I think it's five. Do I want to... I think I need to also have a chest to do that. So I don't have a chest in there. I don't have one there either. Fine. Right. Well, I'll do it without a chest. I'll do one, two of those. I'll take that. I'll make a chest. I will put the chest down there. And I will go one, two, three, four, five like that to make a hopper. And then I will go up here, and I will take that hopper, and I will put it here like this. And I will go in uh, there like that. So I've got a hopper going into that furnace. And then I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to drop in sand like that. So I've got a whole load of sand going in, and then I've got glass that will be coming out of the bottom. I don't think blocks of coal are the way forward with firing a furnace. I don't actually know on that front, though. I'm, I'm not actually sure. So what I could do here is rather than having two furnaces running just there, if I was to go and put another chest and another hopper in underneath, so one, two, three, four, five of those like that, and I go and build another chest just here a second... Uh, here, one, two of them, like that. Make a chest, put that one in here, and then like that. There, have another hopper, and then I want one more chest. Take those, and turn that into a chest, like this. So I put one here, I put one there, like that, right. And then I'm going to go under here, and this bit in here... I take that coal out of there so that I don't need to worry about that one being used. And we've got a little bit left. I don't know if it's... It, yeah, it will actually. It won't do another one. There's not enough fire left in there for it to actually... Ooh, okay. Maybe there is. I, I got a feeling it's going to get right to the very end. It's going to run out of flame. Nope. Hasn't done that. Okay. So I've got 16 bits of glass right in there. So then I can have my pickaxe get rid of that one under there like that and i can also get rid of that one then i can go here and i can place you in here and i can put the hopper shift click that one into there like that so now i've got everything kind of set up perfectly i'll get that torch off the wall and i'll put a torch here and i'll put a torch up here and then I will go and I'll make yet another chest by putting two blocks in there like that. And I'll go like that. Tick you, put you down here. And then I'm going to stick a chest in there. Open that one up and uh, double click like that. You click on it and then you double click and that puts everything in. So it now drops into that one, which then drops into there. I can put that. I can't put the glass in there at all. Uh, but it then gets sucked out by that hopper there. I can dump the glass in there like that. And then down here, we have all of the glass. So we've got just a, a very quick, simple little process that will go in here. I can actually put a side-loading hopper as well and put coal in that one. So then it keeps it permanently full of coal. I don't need to worry about that. 
Like, uh, honestly, I'm, I'm not going to be doing so much that I actually need to worry about doing that. What I am going to do here, though, is I'm going to go with another one right in there. I'm going to dig out that square right there. And I'll take that furnace. Pop it in there like that. And then we've got 45 steaks right there. Ooh, I don't know if I want steak or if I want raw beef for, like, a beef stew. I know you need bowls, but I'm not sure what else I need in order to make a beef stew. So that's another thing that I want to look up is like foods and things like that. Let's go back over to you a minute and we'll leave our camp bed in there for now. And then we've got our acacia logs, which I want to be able to use for like some things. I'm not going to be using the orange of the acacia logs up the top. Uh, I'm not quite sure completely yet what i'm going to use acacia for um greenhouses i was thinking was one um like greenhouses with uh sandstone in possibly something like that i i'm at the moment i'm i'm genuinely not sure i haven't fully decided how i want that to work out uh what else do we want to do well i'll go and get some acacia trees planted a second if we go and plant some of these, then we can go back through and once we've, uh, once I've like planted down a, a few of these out this side, we can then run back through and go and do, ooh, well, uh, yeah, right. I'm looking at this, I, I'm going to want somewhere for, I've got room for potatoes and wheat and then we've got a bit of pumpkin and watermelon down there i'm gonna want beetroot i'm gonna want carrots because i've got two more lots of crops to go and plant i don't know what other crops there are i'm gonna have to look uh i am gonna have to go and look that up because i don't know if there are other crops that i want to be getting as well we came in across the swamp over this way and we know that that does actually include our spawn chunks. That's kind of like the central area, just the other side of there. So this is just one quarter of the spawn chunks in here. We've got another big quarter over there, another over there, and another out over that way. So one thing that I'd like to do is build a fence line. Build, like build a track, a fence line, all the way around the outside of our spawn chunks and properly mark them all out. I want every single little bit of it marked out really, really clearly all the way through. And Okay, you're going to die right at my feet. I'm just that awe-inspiring that you collapsed and died right in front of me without actually making me go through all the trouble and effort of having to slaughter you in the first place. I approve. I that I will give that my stamp of approval. Uh, where am I going to plant these acacia trees? I think we will dump them, start putting them down here. It doesn't really make you, it doesn't matter about um like planting conditions, so we'll put them If I go 1 2 3 and then put a tree and then put a tree, one, two, three, is that right? One, two, three, and then one there. So I kind of like do it like this. Out of the way, chicken. Uh, put one up there. And I'm going to come over this way. And I'm going to kind of keep them on this pattern in the hope that we'll be able to get a, a bit of a crop off of these trees. That's the one problem with acacia trees is that they are difficult to grow. It's time-consuming more than anything. Like, have, going through the effort of harvesting and everything, it is a rather time-consuming process to actually go and get them. Put that one down there like that. And then one, two, three, and you over there. And I'm going to put that one in there like that. And then where are we going to go from here? One, two, three, and one over here. And... Put one down here as well. I still got 12. I don't really want to put down anymore. I'll put one there. That's probably enough, isn't it? Let's put some more over this way then. That's not enough. If, if you're sure, if you're absolutely positive that I haven't quite got enough down here, then I, I'll put down like an, an, another couple here like this. I think you can't like have them up against a... Um, like up, up against a block. I think that stops them from growing. Is, uh, you can put them on the edge one, but you, I, I can't put one down there and have it grow. At least I think so. 
That's why I'm being careful where I can, like, plonk these. If I put it in there, it won't grow. If I put it here, it might, but it might be to do with diagonal lines as well. So, again, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I can bring this one back over here, and I can put one up there, and I can put another one up there, and then I can put one there, and that should be fine. Three left. Let's plant all of them. Let's do it. One here, one over here, and one right there. Okay, we will see if that does actually produce us anything. Hop, skip, and jump in over here like this. Through the fence. So I need farms. I, well, I, I need to be able to, like, grow more crops. Ideally, I'd like greenhouses to do that. And if I want to make greenhouses, ideally, I kind of, like, want to build an area out here. Just a big ledge, really. I, well, I got one of two options on this bit. I can either do a big ledge and just, like, extend that out in a big platform over the top of this area. I'll clear the trees out from underneath, and then we can have, like, a hollow room in underneath, and we can do something with that. Or I dig down a slope all the way down here, and then I level out the area down the bottom, and I put greenhouses down there. And... Option two seems like a lot more work. I'll be honest with you. And if I go for option one, it means I've got a hollow room in underneath here. And I could perhaps use that for sorting or something like that. Or even use that as a starting point to like dig down to start doing a mob spawner or something like that. Because I, I am going to need a mob spawner. And then I'm going to want a village as well, a trading hall, which is going to... Probably end up going back in here somewhere. Something like that. And that could then be underneath the level where all the greenhouses are. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of torn. And Or I could put greenhouses further out. I kind of like, actually, I, I don't want to go out further out. I want greenhouses here. They've either got to be up there. Let me have, I'm, I'm going to stop a minute and have a look here and, and kind of like assess. Because if I have it ramped down, I'm gonna... There's gonna be a lot of digging involved. So I'd dig it out across there, and I would fill this up, and like completely fill up the whole level there. And then I would want to slant it down. But I don't like having to jump all the time. So it would be every other block that I would want to go out. Which means I have to go out two blocks for every block that I drop down. So that I can put half slabs in, and basically have some steps all the way down. Have slabs in so that I've got steps from that level right the way down and I can just do it at a dead run anytime I move. Means that we're going to be out level with the edge over there. Uh, not sort of back here where you'd think to start with. It's going to be out double that distance. It's going to be over there, which means that then I'd have to clear all of that lot off in order to fit the greenhouses. So we're back to option one. I can clear this out in underneath and I can put a staircase down. I mean, I could just put normal stairs on here, and that way I could just bring it down to this point. But again, it still would require an awful lot of digging, and that kind of bit of hill would be in the way as well. Nope, platform it is. That's, that's definitely going to be the best option, I think. We will build a platform out over the top. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to want to clear a little bit of space, and I'm going to want some more tools. I don't really need a great deal of tools to go and do this particular task. I do need a few little bits and pieces. There was something I was going to do. I was going to check out some new types of food so that we could see about um, what we could use beef for and stuff like that. That's still on my to-do list. Right, well, I won't, I'm, I'm not going to worry about that right now. The acacia logs... I'm just going to leave those in my inventory for... Uh, a second. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about them either. What I'm going to do is just have a look in here a minute. So we're two stacks almost in there. We've got 56 pieces in there and that's coming along rather nicely. The light is just starting to fade. So we're going to want to do something there. Um, I'm thinking if I go and harvest, well, actually, we'll do the sugar cane in the morning. So what I'll do is if I just come in here, we've now got some more leather in here. And we've got a load of paper as well. We've got some oak planks right there, which I'll bring out. We've got a few oak logs here. And I will, well, let's, let's get some shut eye a minute. 
And then we'll make up a few more blocks so that we can go up to the library. There's a zombie noise. There's a zombie here somewhere. There shouldn't be zombies anywhere in my base. I shouldn't be able to even hear them. In theory. I mean... Well, not from my bed anyway. I shouldn't be able to hear them from my bed unless they're like just around here somewhere and one happened to randomly spawn. I know that they can spawn over there. Alright, well, may maybe they haven't spawned. Maybe it's it's not all bad. Right, anyway, but what I'll, what I'll do a minute is if I go along here and I just quickly harvest this sugar cane and we will make a few more books. I mean, I think I've got plenty of sugar cane already. I don't think I'm going to need to worry about any more of that. There's a little bit gone all the way over there. Um, I do want to get the greenhouses built soon. I'm just going to do, at the moment, the um, just a platform where we can go and put a few extra bits in and just like a few extra gardens, just so that we've got the, the basics in there. And we can get the plants planted, the carrots and the the beets, so that we got those. Uh, I've got one brown mushroom. I should have gotten a red mushroom or two from the woods so that um, I could get some of those planted and get them growing so that we've got, like, space for um, making soup. See, I've got, I've got the beetroot seed there, I've got the carrot, and there is a mushroom, I think the mushroom is over in the other, one of the other chests. I can hear a zombie! Yeah, there's a zombie in there somewhere, we've got a cave in there somewhere. See, I've got two brown mushrooms right there, but I haven't got the red mushrooms, although I think the red mushroom, I don't know about red mushrooms, they might be poisonous ones, maybe. I'm not 100% sure on that. Right, anyway, it doesn't really matter. So we want to do that, and we want to do that. We've got a little bit spare this time. We will make a load of paper. And then we want to do that, and we want to do that. It's 41, so there's a load of books there, and we've got 27 paper left over. So we've got 11 lots of books that we can do stuff with. So I'm just going to quickly turn that into logs. And then I will go like that. And I will go like that. Um, do that. There we go. 11 and 11 there. That makes 11 wooden, uh, 11 bookshelves that we've got in here. The rest of the materials are upstairs, so we will go and do that minute. So I'll leave the sugar cane in there. The final book can stay in there. Although we could turn one of these books into an enchanted book. Like if we go into here, and then I drop that one in there, and it's going to give me protection, which goes thus increases the level of armor value. And efficiency one. Now that's good. That's very good. Two lapis lazuli and two enchantment levels. Right here. There's a zombie around here somewhere. It's going to bug me that I can just hear him wandering around. Uh, what's that one? That's Impaling 5. I think that's for a... Um, a what do you call it? I think that's for a bow. Although I'm not sure. Uh, I believe putting more bookshelves down does help the enchantment levels. And the amount of enchantments that you can get... But I'm wanting to use the bookshelves at the moment up the top for our library. So we're going to sort of prioritize that. But an efficiency one book. Uh, no problem with that. I'll have that one. I need to get more lapis lazuli at some point soon. So we'll leave that one in there. And we'll leave that back in there as well. And then the rest of it we can go on up. Uh, there's nothing there. Yeah, I don't know where this zombie is. He'll be out there somewhere. Oh, I know what we'll do. As I'm going up the top to go and take these bookshelves up, I will also take the glass that we have currently got smelted, and we'll run that up as well and make a bit of use of it. So we're going to go scampering all the way up here. So we're going to make some signs. If we've got 11 bookshelves, we are, for the most part, putting two signs on each bookshelf. 
Um, so there's two names per bookshelf that we make. So this will be 22 names that we should be able to apply on here. And we can also have a look at the glass. So I've got straight blocks of glass which I want to use out here. Which I will. St I'm going to start doing some blocks of glass out here like this. This is what I want on these. Uh, just straight blocks like this. Let's crouch down and start placing some more like this. And I will be using a lot of glass. Once the once we've got enough, we will use them for we will use glass for greenhouses. We will use glass up here for the walls. Although we're mostly going to have panes of glass up here, I am just um, putting in the floor like this. And put you down there like that. And then I'll come all the way out here. Uh, okay, I'm going to go in a bit closer like that. And down here like that. And then over that way as far as we can. Only three blocks wide on there. Like that. And then over this side. Ooh, here we go. And I didn't want to do that. Oh, that one's actually popped up onto the top. So let me just reverse back a little bit from there. As uh, Another 64 pieces of glass. But quite frankly, I don't want to use up all the glass on this just yet. So I'm going to stop there for a minute. And I'm going to go back over here. Because I'm not quite sure how this works with the panes of glass. Is it like that? No. Uh, it's not in a line. There. Right. So you, you spread them out like that to do it. Uh, I want to put one there. And I want to put one there. And I want to put one there. So that will give me 32 pieces of glass like that. And now I've got more recipes. So I can dye the glass and we can have different colours. So we can have stained glass if we want to. I don't want to go for stained glass at the moment, but what I do want is I want to put this down here. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't work how I was hoping it would. And put that in, it goes out to there. I was hoping that this would go to the glass, but it doesn't do that. That's a bit of a shame. So it doesn't go, it doesn't match up with the fence post, which means that we're going to need to do something a little bit different on there. So let's have a look in here. We've got these. We can't use just dark oak fences in there if we want glass coming out like that. Uh, we could go and get some iron and we could do it with iron. That would work. Let me have a look in here a minute and see what options we've got for our dark oak. Uh, if we look in here, we've, we don't want slabs. No, we're not going to just do straight squares. I, I mean, ideally, I want something a bit narrower than that. But, I mean, looking at these here, diamond blocks or emerald blocks would actually... I like the idea of having, like, something ridiculously extravagant like that. Um, I really like the idea of that obsidian stuff that we've seen with, like, the purple streaks in it. Uh, but I don't know how to make that. I don't know how we'd be able to get more of it. And that would look really cool, I think. Some pillars of that in our library. Um, sort of looking through these. I'm not getting much inspiration here. I mean, there's some chain there, but really it doesn't sort of... Um, and what... Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. If you have time, do please consider checking out the links in the description down below. There is one for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers, including but not limited to Minecraft and Farming Simulator. And there is also Fanatical, who sell vast quantities of computer games at very reasonable prices. There is also a discount code in the description alongside the link. If you've enjoyed this video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.